there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for you today. Uh, this was a big announcement that was posted on the forums yesterday. I just wasn't able to make the video until now. Uh, but this is a, a major foundational change to the game. Uh, a lot of people are going to say for the better. A lot of people are going to complain. It's just one of those big changes. It's it's even bigger than the supercharged one they made where they changed all the healer supercharged to 10,000. Uh, this is something that's been in the wind for a while. Uh, that they've kind of talked about in the background. Just weren't where to start um, in terms of the weapon balance or weapon balance pass. Uh, so now they're doing a development update with weapons and artifacts. So we can kind of get into it here. Uh, it's basically, this is just like the introduction of maps kind of breaking down what their thought process is. This isn't on test server yet. Most likely, I think it'll be on test server with the DLC, which will be a major thing because then we're testing the DLC and we're testing this at the same time. Uh, but this is kind of like the, think of it like a weapons stats revamp. And there's also some including with artifacts. So basically, uh, players will now be able to choose more freely between uh, which artifact, weapon, or focus uh, to use, which is basically what the issue was. The prec was so unbalanced compared to might. Uh, out of, I think there's 42 weapon master combos, only like three of them are good. Uh, and basically, no matter what power set you were, there's a 90% chance that the prec build was better than the might build. Even like nature prec is pretty much, uh, nature precision is better than nature might almost. Uh, and then you've got uh, gadgets, all gadgets might is already super powerful and then gadgets prec is even more powerful. So it's, it's just the precision side and the precision focus of every power set was just so heavily geared towards prec. Like I think rage might is so powerful, but rage prec is even better. So it's just one of those things, it's, it's been around since a while, since the Venomous Dispenser came out. Uh, and something that definitely needed to be adjusted, especially when you think of like single target wise. Uh, so the, the thing that I didn't know they were changing was artifacts. Uh, so basically artifact ranks will increase to a maximum of 200. They announced that a little while ago or kind of alluded to it. Uh, so basically we get 180 and 200 ranks coming with this DLC episode 35. So we don't get any new artifacts, just all the existing ones go to rank 200. And I'm sure we'll, I'll, I'll give you more details as soon as I know about them and be able to test, I'll be breaking down testing all the changes to all the artifacts. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, Venomous Dispenser was extraordinarily powerful and would be adjusted down. This was obvious. Uh, some of the other artifacts, artifacts were not extraordinarily powerful and will be adjusted up. They didn't really go into much detail which ones will be adjusted up. But once again, it'll be in the test server notes and I'll be able to bring that to you. Uh, we will have two gifts for players as a result of these changes. So, you know, if you're about to QQ or be upset in the comments saying, oh my God, I just switched prec and leveled up my prec artifacts. Uh, they do address that later because uh, that was a big complaint when uh, they changed the supercharges for either Gemini. So weapons, weapon attacks were too inconsistent. Most weapon attacks were not very powerful and will be adjusted up. A few attacks were extraordinarily powerful because of the Venomous Dispenser and we'll see minor adjustments. So what this means is that like uh, Smoke Bomb, Flurry Shot, most likely won't be seeing a major nerf. They'll just be seeing like a minor adjustment and they're hoping, the devs are hoping that the adjustment to the Venomous Dispenser is what is going to help alleviate some of the issues with uh, Flurry Shot and Smoke Bomb. That's my guess. And instead of like tuning weapons a lot, they're basically between artifacts to match the weapons. Uh, so basically here it just goes into background. Obviously we've been discussing uh, precision state gameplay for such a long time now. Um, skipping down to what he said about artifacts, uh, far and away the most art of, most out of line artifact with the Venom Suspenser, obviously. Uh, several artifacts were not powerful enough, several were, were right on target. The Venom Suspenser is easily twice as good as any other artifact. You're going to see no one, no one uh, you know, disagree there. Uh, so basically, we want players to have real choices between artifacts, between might and precision, and between weapons and weapon attacks. Right now, there was no choice. If you wanted a single target, you were flare shotting. <laughs> you know, if you wanted to melee, you were both smoke bombing. If you wanted to range, or you either dual the explosive shot or the, the people that found that brawling was better. Uh, so basically, the first plan, artifacts. So basically, the first thing I'm going to do is adjust up the adjust up the least powerful artifacts. I'm not. There are some ones that suck, like... Um, like the Starheart comes to mind. Starheart's completely useless. Uh, some of even the new ones I did, like the Philosopher's Stone's useless too. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what they do to the artifacts to, to adjust them up. Uh, these will most likely be the older artifacts. Like um, there's like, an, all, like the first set of artifacts are based on basically a health group buff. Um, like the Tetra's already pretty good. So is the Cog. Um, they already buffed up the one for the tanks. So we'll see what they, they buff. Uh, the second, many artifacts were right on target and received no adjustments or minor adjustments. There's a bunch that are perfectly fine. Third, the Venomous Dispenser were too powerful. Twice as powerful as Xbox Artifact, which they already touched on. So we will adjust it down so at rank 200, it will be half as powerful as 160. So one, right now at 160, I believe it's, is it 53% prec? I don't know offhand. Um, what is your uh, DC on? Uh, Venomous Dispenser. Fifty-three 
54. So basically what they're saying is that 54 is 160. So now it's going to be half that at 200. So basically at two, basically the vendor suspensor gets no buff whatsoever. It actually gets uh, 50% nerf. So right now at 160, you're used to 54. Now at 160, it's going to be way less. And at, um, what is it going to be? 20, 22? No. That's not, I can't do math. Like 27, 28%, whatever. Probably, they probably might round it up at like 30% or something. So it'd be like, imagine it being like 30% at 200 instead of being 54% at 160. So that's essentially what they're doing there. Uh, if we don't adjust it down, nothing will be ever be as good. Precision won't be as good without it. And we will limit uh, how we can improve with weapon consistently. So that goes to my point earlier that they don't want to spend all the time adjusting every single weapon combo and bringing it up a line because that's going to be an incredible amount of work. Even testing weapons alone takes like 20 hours on test server. That's why you haven't seen a video from me yet because I've been procrastinating it. Uh, but it's just that it, there's too many weapon combos. If they took away all the weapon master combos, we'd be perfectly fine and left with what we were in the beginning of the game, and it'd be balanced. But they don't; they still want to hang on to those weapon master combos, which is a joke. Uh, fourth, we will offer. This is basically to all the people that are like, you know, screaming and you know, I wasted my money on prec artifacts. We will offer two gifts for all one players. Um, players using the medicine dispenser because we understand how difficult this change will be and want to ease the tension. So basically, gift number one, artifact celebration pack, will be a seal of completion. One set of catalyst to get to rank 80 and uh, an nth medal for 75,000, which nothing is you get like a rank 80 artifact for free, it's still useless. Um, basically, that's like uh, a $15 gift because that'd be that's uh, 900 statement or a thousand station cash. Uh, catalyst yeah it's like 15 bucks probably gift number two this is what people want to know venom suspensor boost so if players who have a venomous suspensor at rank 80 will automatically have their uh, artifact boosted to a higher rank so if your venomous suspensor was 80 to 100 it gets to 120 if your venomous suspensor was at 101 and 140 you get 160 and if your venomous suspensor was at uh, between 141 and 160 it'll be boosted to 200 the maximum rank so what this means is that uh, even though the Venom Suspenser gets a 50% nerf, um, you still get boosted. So basically you get free XP. So if you have a Venom Suspenser and it's not at 141 yet, you want to spend all your money, you take your parents' credit card, whatever. Uh, you want to get that artifact to 140 because if you don't get it to 141 and this and this update comes out, you're going to be spending, you know, five, 600,000 XP to get it to 200. You know, that's that's a massive, massive XP difference, uh, most likely. Like, it's already 700,000 XP for 160. Most likely, it's going to be double that or like a million XP or something like that. So, it, you would never see, it would take you so long if you were at like 140 to get to 160, to get to 200 to have it be useful again. So, that's the first thing you want to do. Make sure that Venomous Suspenser, if you care about it or you still want to be prec, then it has to be at least 141 so you get boosted. Uh, we want to invite PLs to continue using it. So the plan for weapons, uh, the Venom Suspenser is out of the way. Once again, to keep talking about how. So first, we'll make minor adjustments to uh, the few weapon attacks that are really powerful and dominating the precision meta. So like Bow Smoke Bomb, do a Flurry Shot, um, Brawling Shuriken Storm, um, Dual Explosive Shot. There's probably some other ones. Uh, there's MA Uppercut for single target on melee. Uh, with the Venom Suspender change, we expect these attacks will be still great to use, but on par with other weapon attacks and other might builds. So second, we will adjust up weapon attacks that are not very powerful. Most weapon attacks receive, yeah, because basically every weapon attack sucks between like, except like four or five of them. Uh, third, test, test, test. So basically they're leaving it kind of like open-ended. Uh, they're not telling exactly what changes they're gonna make. So it's basically, this is gonna be like the mini stats revamp. So that's why they're saying asking for feedback. Uh, so basically it's gonna be up for the test, test server people and all the people are going to be on tests. I know a few people that are be spending, you know, hours doing weapons and I will too, just to be able to get that to you guys. Cause I know not everyone has uh, access to the, the test server, but, um, it's basically think of it like a mini stat three event for weapons coming. Uh, all weapons are going to be changed. Uh, some, changed more than others if venom suspenser gets a huge nerve they haven't said what they're doing to this the sparring is already pretty really good if you get a counter with sparring it's already really powerful i don't see them making much changes to that at least on the dps side uh, other than that the, the cog was about the same as people as health goes up your precision gets better with the cog other than that there wasn't too many precision related artifacts uh, i guess we could just go back here i know there's the demon fang they might upgrade that so that might be viable um demon fang there it's still a healer one but you still get some you can still get three percent prec gemini i doubt that's going to see any changes other than that there really wasn't any um oh like they might change the the parasite partners because that 
has a, a precision aspect to it as well. And precision equal to you know two percent of your vid or whatever it's going to be at 200 so it'll be interesting to see what effect that has and then obviously there's the controller buff so um we'll have to see about that as well but there you go guys development update weapons and artifacts huge changes coming uh and then once this hits test server i'll be able to go through everything for you there and, and explain everything in detail so we can kind of continue this conversation in the comments you're certainly welcome to uh give your thoughts and feedback on it and then i'll be posting uh, to the developers as well